This is a video review of the Transformers Legacy Nova Prime. As you can see, I've got the figure next to the box. You can look right here. Nice picture of the figure on the front. Now, for some reason, you don't see the cannons in the back. Like he has here. I guess it's probably wasn't part of his design in the comics. And on the back, um, I'll see the bottom first. Top says Transformers Legacy. Then, picture of it in all three of its modes. I'm going to take a look at the box better. It's in this sort of uh, nicer box. Uh, I actually have this little tray here. And what, and the figure actually was wrapped in some tissue paper inside here. Uh, there be some art continuing like on the front here. It was wrapped in tissue paper here. Uh, took when I removed the tissue paper already. So let's see. back in the box um, the edges in there uh, let's see. just gotta put this between the tray and the bottom of the box right so, take a look at the figure. Right. Here he is. No prime. As you may notice, it's a Siege Leader Prime retool. Here's the um, Siege figure. Got the upgrade kit on it. Uh, I'm kind of glad how this turned out. I was afraid this might be as floppy as this figure right here. Turns out that's not the case here. Joints seem tighter. I was kind of worried this might be floppier since it's a reuse of the mold. I was sitting outside in the sun after it was delivered by the Amazon Prime driver for a while before I got home but turns out these joints are actually even tighter than the Siege Prime I had um, there's a ratchet joints on this one See our much stronger clicking sound here. Obviously, you can get the, like the hammer here into this Noah Prime, which is kind of fitting because he's a Prime. Also, this was the Souls Prime's weapon. What's kind of, but as I've said in the video, the upper kit, it's kind of difficult to fit this in here. That's how thick this handle is. And also it looks pretty small compared to the rest of the figure. Which I know is kind of strange since these are pretty much a retool of the Siege Prime. I think the wings just help give it a lot more shelf presence. 
than the Siege Prime. So for another comparison, for another comparison, here he is next to the uh, MMC. Uh, oops. Uh, Third party Nova Prime. Of course, this does look better, but of course, it's a $200 third party figure comparing it to a $50 Hasbro figure. And for what you get for 50 for much less, this still looks really good. Just like this Nova Prime. Obviously, there's more differences. This is probably a bit more accurate because it's got different legs, uh, arms, abs, uh, legs and such. That's our retool. Uh, what's cool um, is that this is guy's wings is articulated so you could have like this pull it out spread out like the destiny gundam or just like sort of more in or have the spikes more downward like the high new gundam it's really cool we've done a review on this yet I'm on the fence about it this is much harder to transform than uh This one, not sure if I'll do a transformation, include the transformation for this review when I get to it. Uh, what is cool, you can take the swords here, put them in the snow of primes. Hands. is pretty awesome. Couldn't notice that these the sword looks uh it's a reuse of Drift's sword. Or it's based on Drift's sword. You can just put this little gun here. In fact you can take these guns here. No uh it's the same ones that a Siege Prime had. Put them on here. I think this gives it a more unique look to it. Compared to the Siege Prime, it's pretty awesome. Also, it helps to hide some of this gapage up here. Hopefully, DNA makes an upgrade kit that will fill in these gaps too. Also, extend the height, like the one we got with Galaxy Siege Prime. Then. Yeah, I really like the look of the wings. Probably as good as you'd expect from the online pictures. Uh, really nice the head sculpt. I think it's... Uh, I know some pictures show this horn on Amazon being broken. I'm glad that the horn is actually not broken on the actual... On the one I... On the copy I actually got. It's like the new molded parts, like the chest, and the shoulders, I'm not going to go over articulation on this, I think I'll save that for the core robot mode, it's, that has more articulation, it's just not as clunky without the wings and armor bits, so Let's take those, that's all the stuff off first. Go 
before I forget, I'm just going to flip this belt around. Then this comes off just as easily as the stuff on the Siege Prime. I haven't seen a video. Did look up some other reviews of this figure for a f uh, I didn't see every review, but of the ones I've seen, some people didn't transform it. Uh, I'm going to go over it. So you might be curious how the new molded parts affect the transformation. Of course, get in hand. You'll assume it's the same transformation as the... Siege, Siege Leader Prime? Uh, it sort of is. But I'll go over it soon. Here's a core robot mode. So, it's like Ultra Magnus, but... Uh, you got some golds. On here as well. Uh, as for articulation, heads and ball joint. Uh, same thing goes for the head on the super mode. Uh, arms go all the way around. The elbow, biceps swivel, so at the wrist. Rotates at the hip. I think I showed the legs can go back and forth already. Bends at the knee. 90. Got ankle pivot. Got a bit of uh, thigh rotation here. You're supposed to get these heel spurs out. Alright. Not sure if I mentioned the ankle pivot yet. It's there. Then. Yeah. So, decent articulation on this guy. Um, Obviously, super mode is more or less the same. So, usually there's not much. Uh, to this, just a core figure for the armor bits to go around, just like that Ultra Magnus figure. So, to get this guy transformed. I do. Uh, slide this back down. Come on. All right. So where was I? Okay. So get this around. I want to get the head in first. Get this all the way down. Pull this forward. Hands back here. Sort of Energon Prime style. Get the legs up here. Of course, we're going to fold the heel spurs up. And let's see. This in. Here, these I'm not sure which goes where, so try this. But I should tell you, these sort of 
believe it or not, these do sort of soft click in. You know, it's a reach. You know, these are basically the same leg armors that Siege Leader Prime had. So. Alright, so. Look to the instructions again. Uh, you can. You're supposed to put these in here make sure they fit properly uh, you you'll know when they do fit prop in fit in properly so test is we put mash these together and I had the shoulder bits and the instructions confused. Uh, this piece goes in here. I should feel it. Again, I said you'll know when it fits in, so this should sort of not just fit in tightly, but sort of soft clicks in. And then here, again, soft clicks in. Now it'll fit in perfectly together. Here's a tough part, so remember, remember the head rotates this way, this down, uh, one get this. Up and here, uh, this gun out. Put that gun back in last. So I'm done with everything else. What you want to do is get this fit in here. Sort of get that over in here. I'm gonna get this clip this part in put this clip in here. Then you'll want to get the the clips. These clips. Press these in. Sure, this is all securely together. Um, you want to take this, uh, get this, these parts out here. Want to get these in here. Make sure these are in all the way like this, and. to the other side. So, um, again, make sure you run it all the way. Then you got these clips, tabs here, should clip in here. Do this. I'm going to get this cleaned up here, right? <clears throat> it's about as straight as I could get everything, so I'm going to add the finishing touches. 
then here ease the sides and here it is it's basically just like the C0 prime vehicle mode except mostly white got the douche you see some of the bits of colors show up nicely on the front at least uh, wish these uh, cannon ladders were more detailed like the siege leader prime but I guess they're not because you didn't really have these cannons in the comics right so let's get this guy back apart now I recommend actually put these uh, mushroom pegs in and then attach just clipped it in at the top what I recommend you doing is actually moving pulling it out by, from by the mushroom pegs and then yeah should come off easier that way uh, we'll get the gun stuff off so it doesn't like fall off on its own when I'm transforming it then uh, clips off on the sides um, it's gonna be kind of tough I'm always worried the clips might break but it's got to be done And of course we'll have to form the core robot again, but this time we just skip the part about not forming the head. I don't want to take the head out, then put it back in. I'll drag the video on uh, too long. It's already like 22 minutes right now, so yeah, we'll just leave this at the bottom. And, uh, yeah. Also forgot to mention uh, the do you actually get these extra heel spurs for extra support, uh, but it wasn't pa but it was packaged with these folded in, so that's why I sort of missed that feature. Put these. Guns back in here. So there are some slight differences in the transformation, such as how the shoulders go into the leg armors. Sure that. Sure that. I think that's the only difference. Then get the arm part here. Then you get the other shoulder part here. Um, press this in. We'll have to. Finally, we'll get to this part. Uh, so you want to like... I'm afraid this uh, part might break, so... I'm just going to have to slightly uh, push this back and pull this white forward so as to not um, put too much resistance against the... Okay, see, it's already... Flicking off, so... Just keep that in mind, how the tab is shaped as you're pulling stuff apart. Oh, 
or fold all this back together. Get this gun back here. Uh, you can also, the instructions show that in robot mode, he's holding it and doesn't have. When these cannons are folded up back here, I'm not going to show the. Him with his cannons out. It's really not a feature he had in the comics. Also, it's basically. They pretty much work the same as the Siege Leader Prime. I think, uh... I think the transformation was worth going... ...over. It's slightly different with the way the shoulders fit into the leg armors. It's basically... ...the same. Not difficult. Yoko mode doesn't have as many paint apps as the Siege Leader Prime, but robot mode looks great. Really love the new newly molded pieces like the wings, the head, the chest, the shoulders. They all look great. Especially when I have them holding the Star Saber that came with that third party Nova Prime. And this is much cheaper and for what you get for just a fraction of that price. This still looks great just like that figure please like this video and if you do please subscribe to my youtube channel that's it for my review bye